Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be week six, I believe, of the PGBL season three. And uh, this is going to be a really fun one. This is going to be up against Mr. Chabry. Now, Chabry here has been to the playoffs and with a decent seed in each of our seasons so far. He's made it to the finals in season one, if I'm not mistaken, and ended up losing out to the champion in season two. But we're here now and unfortunately, we played him in both of our seasons and we've never been able to beat him. So I'm hoping for a different situation now. Now, the tables are very different now. He hasn't had the best record as of yet. He's, I believe, at one and four, and we're here at and we're here at three and two. So we're doing decently well. I really desperately want to go at four and two, though. My team is really, really fun, and this is going to be my first week with Mega Low Punny on my team and Metagross on my team. Now, in honesty, I am very, very confused about how to get to max happiness. I do have a turn on my Mega Low Punny, and in all honesty, I put the thing in a luxury ball. I let it hold a soothe bell. I fed it like 15 hondu berries and i hope for the best i don't know if that works i don't know if that's going to be what i need i might pull a hannon's here i have no idea if i do i don't even know what to say but i'm just gonna hope for the best for now i did make an attempt at predicting his team so i do kind of expect him definitely to bring the gudra mega scissor typhlosion toxapex whimsicott and zapdos but other than that he could bring plenty of things uh the seismitoad could be huge i would not be surprised at all to see the so the Scrafty. I had to expect the Scrafty a little bit. I brought Dazzling Gleam on my Shaman just for that. Lantern wouldn't surprise me at all. But other than that, I'm clicking let the battle begin. Uh, let's see what the heck he has here. We do see the Whimsicott, Scrafty, Zapdos, Typhlosion, Mega Scizor, and the Toxapex. So what did he not bring? He didn't bring the Gudra. Okay, that's actually pretty darn good for us. Okay, so Scrafty instead of Gudra. Now that is actually fantastic. Now, okay, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna use the snipping tool instead of uh, instead of trying to write down his team so that I have it for the entire match. Okay, hopefully that'll sit right there and hopefully that'll keep me in line. So what do I lead off with here? Park me just wants to lead off with Mega Low Pony just to have fun with it. I think I'll lead off Hmm. I'm going to lead off with the Electros. Okay, what would set up hazards? Toxapex is the only thing I should really worry about. Yeah, I'm going to set... I'm going to start off with the Electros. I think the most likely scenario is that I U-turn out. But if the Toxapex is in, obviously I have to take an opportunity to... Wild Charge it if it presents itself. Other than that... I mean, this matchup is a little bit of what I expected. Nothing too, too crazy yet. But, like I said, I haven't been able to beat Chabra yet. Hopefully, this one will change it around. I came so very close last season, and I really thought I could have had it last season. Out comes the Zapdos to start off with. So, again, something that I can get a free wall charge off of. And there's no Lantern to kind of soak up those hits. Um... I am also really tempted to just U-turn as well. I think I can deal with this thing decently well. The only thing I'm concerned about is if it tries to U-turn itself, but I'm slower. I'm definitely slower. I actually, I think I'm relaxed nature because I have the flamethrower just for the Mega Scizor. So, I should theoretically be fine just going for a... A... U-turn, but what would be his switch-in? His switch-in might be... His best switch in might be the Whimsicott, actually. And I don't think I have the Acid Spray, actually. I do have the Flamethrower, which is kind of similar. I don't know. I think U-Turning is going to be the best play. I think no matter what, U-Turning is going to be the best play. He does get the Volt Switch off, which is what it is. It's fine. We take that perfectly fine. We are Assault Vested. This is my first time bringing an Assault Vest on this thing. But we are pretty much max defense with Assault Vest. So, hopefully that can do something for us here. This will give me the freest of switches into the... Uh, Shaman, which is going to be pretty huge. He could try to bring in... What would he bring in on the Shaman? Probably the Zapdos, maybe. Zapdos or Typhlosion. So maybe I don't want to do that, because I don't want to just invite in the Typhlosion for no reason. 
Tapu Fini could be interesting. What would he bring in if I bring in the Fini right now? Also, what are his Z captains? I should keep that in my head. Gudra, which he is not here. And Whimsicott. Okay. I can't see the Whimsicott bringing the Bloom Doom. So every week so far, he's brought Z Memento on his Whimsicott. So I can't really see him bringing the Bloom Doom. I can't. Although, this would be the week against my Finny. This would be the week. Hmm. I could try to go into Muck and try to set up some curses, but I think that's too early. I don't think that's the time right now. I think I'm just going to try to take this opportunity. Come in with this thing. Okay, if anything, right, I think... I think by bringing this thing in, it invites in his Toxapex. It, well, it either invites in his Toxapex or his Scizor, but I think... I'm going to double into Shaman regardless. Because it either invites in his Shaman, or sorry, his Whimsicott, his Toxapex, or his Scizor. And I think the most likely play would be to bring in this Toxapex. So I'm going to double into my Shaman here. This is the debut of Shaman as he goes for the withdrawal himself. Goes into Toxapex like we expected. So here's what we got to see. I could just go for the straight up Psychic, but I do have Z Psychic, which is going to do about 90% of this thing. I think he might think that he has the matchup here, though. I ha I did run these calcs a little bit earlier, and if this thing is just max HP and, let's say, max defense, then I believe Psychic should do about half, but Z Psychic, sorry, Z Psychic, does 86 to 103. That's assuming just max HP and, and like I said, assuming max defense. And I think he would bring max defense, if nothing else, for my low punny, so... I do actually just want to Z Psychic here, but I don't know. Would he just switch into Zapdos? Even, even if he does switch into Zapdos, that would be better. Yeah. You know what? <clears throat> this is risky. I don't want to... I don't want to be too hasty on this play. I mean, getting a 50% off on this thing would be big but at the same time it just gets regenerator off and it probably has leftovers so it doesn't matter either way i'm gonna click it let's see what happens withdraws okay so i'm getting i'm guessing the zapdos yeah okay i the zapdos does come in but we will get to know what the zapdos is so unfortunately we don't get that shattered psyche play on this thing we do get a z psychic off however and we have to get this max HP. It should do about half. About half. Maybe just expected a seed flare. That makes sense. I guess you don't want to just take a seed flare to the face. Does it almost exactly 50%, which does suggest max HP, max defense probably. Yeah, no, that makes sense against my low punny. See, my plan here was that with so much invested in my with my low punny and how big of a threat that could be it would open the door for a little bit of my special threats um although i don't know it seems kind of iffy right now so let's see he could heat wave me uh i don't think this is zep this is peg zapdos regardless yeah, so for right now, I think we have to assume that this is max defense. I think we have to assume that this is max defense for now. I kind of feel like Electros is, a, is an easy play. He might... Yeah, there's no reason not to go into, into Electros and just click U-turn. I feel like there's no reason not to. And you know what? This is some pretty bad prep on my part because if I was assuming that this thing was going to be max HP ice, if, the, if I was going to assume that this thing was going to be max HP, max defense, if I was going to predict that, which I kind of thought, which I kind of knew from the beginning, then what I should have done was invested like 20 points of speed into my shaman so that I could, so I don't have to risk the speed tie. That's unfortunate on my part. 
But see, I wonder if now... I'm gonna click Knock Off. I'm gonna click Knock Off. I don't think he would bring in the Scrafty again, because... If anything, I think he stays in this time, because I don't think he wants to give me the free U-turn right now. But getting a knockoff on this thing would be pretty important. He could just roost up right now, which would be not great. And that would be actually very not good. Although, this Zapdos would be set up fodder for my Alolan Muck. So I suppose that's important to keep in mind as well. If he goes into the Scrafty, then that would be very unfortunate. Although, I don't think he would go... He does go into the Scrafty again. I really did not think he would go into the Scrafty, like, twice in a row. And does get the Intimidate off. I'm gonna get the Knock Off off. No Assault Vest. So, he, he maybe could have taken the Dazzling Gleam. Although, no Assault Vest means no Dragon Dance, which immediately makes me less afraid. And because I'm relaxed nature, I should be able to underspeed this thing. Let me see. Scrafty. Yeah, no. So he naturally outspeeds me anyway. But with the relaxed nature, that's pretty much guaranteed. So I can pretty freely U-turn right now. Goes for the poison jab. But it's going to be mostly fine. I'm surprised he didn't knock off, actually. I feel like knock off maybe would have been a better play. Does get the very unfortunate poison, but thankfully I won't be taking poison quite, quite yet. Get the thing down to 75% just off of minor chip damage. And with this thing being assault vested, does... I still threaten this thing with a dazzling gleam. If we give this max special defense then at 75%, it's a roll that's pretty in my favor. I feel like this is a play that I would have to make right now. I feel like I just clicked Dazzling Gleam, and if he goes back into the Toxapex, then I go for the Psychic. Or I go for the Seed Flare. I should start going for some Seed Flares because uh, that could be pretty clutch later on. Especially if the Zapdos only has HP Ice. But again, I also have to keep in mind that he doesn't have a Ground Type. And doesn't look like he's he has much Ground Type coverage at all. Actually, no. The Toxapex is going to not allow my Muck to... to um, not even sweep, but not it's not going to allow my Muck to set up and do anything. So that's going to be unfortunate, but he has no ground coverage, so my muck is pretty much free when the Toxapex goes down. I don't think he would assume that I'm out here to... I don't know, he's taking his time. Maybe he's thinking about what would take a Dazzling Gleam, but the obvious choice would be to Toxapex. So I don't know why he would be thinking about this too much. Maybe he's considering um, going into the Typhlosion because Dazzling Gleam is resisted. I mean, that would make perfect sense, in all honesty. Um, if the thing tries to Z Sunny Day, then I Earth Power. Maybe I do have to stay in just Earth Power that thing. This Shaman has too much use for me. I don't want to over rely on my Shaman, but the, the Shaman does a lot for me. And no matter what, I think being able to juggle my Low Punny with Fake Out is going to end up being huge in this match, just in general. Let's see, goes into the Toxapex. So, that's about 10%. So, I guess we can make sure now. Again, I am predicting this thing to be max defense, but we can do a little bit of verifying now. Actually, Seed Flare does just as much as Psychic or Earth Power. Obviously, I wanted Z Psychic for the, uh... Yeah, Z Psychic would be would have been better, but I never was able to get that off. So I think with Seed Flare doing as much as it does, and having revealed Psychic, that might deter him from wanting to go out into the into the Zapdos as well. So let me see. 
Yeah, Dazzling Gleam doing 10% is right in line with just max HP. If I give this max defense, max special defense, then it does 8 to 10%. So I guess that doesn't tell me much. 10% is max for special for if it's specially defensive and min if it's it's if it's physically defensive. But either way, I think the place just click seed flare. And I can hope for a special defense drop on the switch in. If I can get this special defense drop, then this Zapdos would be pretty crippled. Do we get it? Okay, yes, we get the special defense drop. That is huge. Because now Seed Flare is pretty darn spammable. Now Seed Flare is pretty darn spammable. Zapdos. Yeah, Seed Flare doing about 25% is right on line for... Okay. Okay. That is exactly what I needed. But now it comes down to a speed tie, in all honesty. Again, I didn't think about that speed tie in prep. I could expect the Scrafty to come in. No, I think the last thing you'd want to bring in is the Scrafty. I think what I want to do is just click Psychic. Because Psychic does about as much damage as Seed Flare does. And it doesn't matter anyway because he's at minus two. Um, the Seed Flare might invite in the Typhlosion, which is the only reason why I want to click Psychic. Or the Whimsicott for that matter. Or the Scizor for that matter. But I think the chip damage with Psychic is going to be the most beneficial. And I re really do want to click Earth Power just for the Scizor, but I, I don't think I could have risked that. I don't think I was in a position to risk that. Either way, we're going to get, what is that, 19% off on this thing? We have to know. Scizor, this is before Mega Evolving. I should have done more with than the, oh, he's probably max HP. Yeah, max HP, that makes, that makes just about sense. Hmm. See, I could go into... I can't stay in here, but I could go into... Would he Swords Dance, right? No, I don't think he would Swords Dance. I think he would want a U-turn. He has to click U-turn, I think. I think the play has to be to... Sponge a hit with my Electros here. This is an intense match, but uh, like I said, I do think I have the matchup for now. Just goes for the hard withdraw, the hard double, as he goes into the Typhlosion. So this is very interesting. I don't know why he would do that, because what did he expect me to go into? I don't know what he expected me to go into. Okay. I could U-turn here. What I'm afraid of is the Z-Sunny Day, right? Was he afraid of the HP Fire? I, I I didn't have HP Fire, fun fact. But I could have Earth Powered into into that thing. Yeah, I guess I guess he had to have expected the HP Fire. Oh, this isn't this isn't a Z Pokemon. Jesus Christ, it's not right. Let me be hundred percent sure about that. Yeah, it's a, it's Whimsicott, of course. Okay, it's not it's not a Z-Mon. So this thing's gonna click Eruption on me. I think I should just click Knock Off. I should just click Knock Off. I think I have to assume that this thing is Scarfed for now. Okay, so if this thing is Scarfed, right? Okay. Typhlosion. Typhlosion, Typhlosion. Um, against... Against my Zygarde. Typhlosion against my Zygarde. I have to click... Extreme Speed, which is doing over half, which is going to cripple its eruption. So would that be an opportunity to go for Thousand Arrows? It might be. 
I really don't think he can risk me me clicking extreme speed on this thing, especially if he's watched any of my matches where I just extreme speed everything. The obvious switch would be Scrafty, which really makes me want to click Thousand Arrows. But this is a genuine risk. Okay, what is Eruption doing to me? Eruption. Wow, so according to this, a full power eruption, a full power eruption does about half to me. I have to click Thousand Arrows. I have to have balls on this play. He could go into the Whimsicott. He could go into the Whimsicott, but even then, Whimsicott would drop to extreme speed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some balls on this play. Thousand Arrows. Zapdos, maybe? Scrafty, okay. Is this a two hit? Because if this is a two hit, then that would be pretty huge. After the Intimidate. After the Intimidate, obviously. Thousand Arrows. Yes, okay, that is a two hit. Alright. That was a real play. That was a play that I had to make. But... Yeah, Zygarde has a decent matchup in this situation. Well, against the rest of his team, other than the Whimsicott. If the Whimsicott goes down, then thousand then I can click Thousand Arrows for days. And he might he might be figuring out right now that I'm banded, which is going to help him out for the future, but either way, it doesn't really help him much because he can't risk extreme speed against a Typhlosion. And I guess it does help him out with the Zizor. He might be bringing in Zizor right now. No, the Whimsicott comes in. I'm going to guess that I do about 30%. 100% a guess. Let's see. I've not done any counts on this. Yikes. Okay. That should be fine, though. That should be fine. This Whimsicott is what's between my Zygarde right now and winning, I think. Regardless... Regardless, I kind of feel like... Well, see, Muck is the obvious switch. Muck is the obvious switch. He could Stun Spore me, in all honesty. Stun Spore would be pretty bad. I no longer have any eel switches. I think I go into Finny. See, I, I really want to hard read the Stun Spore, so I want to go hard into Finny and then double into Low Punny. That's what I really want to do. That's what I think I will do. Actually, isn't Shaman immune to powder moves? I'm gonna try to bait a grass move. I don't I don't see a situation where you would double, so you're gonna stay in. And I don't see a situation where you would go for a straight up grass move. Maybe just go for the moon blast in the situation? I don't know. Does go for the moon blast. We should take that pretty darn well. We take that fine. I get the leftovers back. And I think I go into muck here. I'm in no position for Muck to, to like sweep through his team because of the Toxapex, but I am in a position for Muck to spread around some damage. I'm curious to see what Zygarde Thousand Arrows does to Toxapex, because this is not a count that I ran, but I am banded, like I said. Like I've been saying for most of the season, dang it. Banded Thousand Arrows, Max Defense, and I should make this bold, I believe. Okay, Banded Thousand Arrows does 66 to 80. If it has Shuka, that'd be wild. But no, I think we already saw Black Sludge. It goes into the Toxapex. As I go into the Alolan Muck. I really have nothing that can touch this Toxapex. I 
I really have nothing that can touch the Tonk Specs, but the Tonk Specs also can't touch me, especially with the Misty Terrain up. I really want to double back into the... Actually, this is a triple switch at this point. But I really want to triple into the... Into the... Shaman here. Actually, what I really want to do is go hard into Zygarde. What I really want to do is go hard into Zygarde. I might do that. There's no reason to go for Scald. I'm going. I'm. I'm going into Zygarde. I think he switches. I think he switches. And if he does switch into something that's not Whimsicott, I'm clicking Facade. Goes for the Toxic Spikes. Okay. Regardless, I think I click Facade. <laughs> I have this facade for the sole reason of hitting Whimsicott. What is facade doing? Facade should do about half. But but it would still outspeed me. Oh, extreme speed does more. Extreme speed does more than facade. Oh, okay, so I did expect myself to get... That was in case I got poisoned at any point through Toxic Spice, but I'm going to try my best to prevent Toxic Spikes from doing damage to my team. I think I click extreme speed. If he has, if he makes the big boy play and stick and stays in here, that would be nuts, but I think you have to go Whimsicott. I think you have to go Whimsicott. Do we see the Whimsicott? We do. We do over half with extreme speed. We are banded. We can absorb the spikes. Oh, this is max HP at least. At least max HP. That was about 15% down to 55. So what's that like? 30%? Is this a defensive Whimsicott? Either way, I can't stay in. I, I go in a muck every dang day of the week. I have to absorb those spikes as well. Muck is the play every dang day of the week. Now I have to do something different. I have to think of something different to, to do. I still think you would go into Toxapex, but I think I... Mm. He might not go into Toxic Packs. He might not go into Toxic Packs. I think he has to go into Toxic Packs, doesn't he? Maybe I go into... I feel like no matter what, my play would be to go into Shaman. I think Shaman does the most for me right now. And I've been playing my Shaman so unpredictably so far that I think my Shaman gives me the best opportunities to catch him off guard no matter what he brings in. Because I've shown Seed Flare into a Toxapex to catch the Zapdos, so he might want to bring in the, the Whimsicott. If he does that, I can always Psychic. Um, Scrafty is never a switch in because, of, because it's so weak and I can Dazzling Gleam it. I can potentially Earth Power for the Typhlosion, but I could potentially Psychic into this thing. A Scizor comes out. Which is interesting, because I do have the Fire Punch. I could've... I could've... If he... If he ate the Gunk Shot there, then I could've just gone for Fire Punch next turn. Either way, have I shown him my full moveset? Uh, I have not shown Earth Power yet. What is Earth Power doing to Scizor? I think he, we've already seen that it's at least max HP. It's probably max HP, max attack, if I had to guess. Earth Power is a 3 hit KO. Earth Power is a 3 hit KO. I 
I don't know if I scare him out, though. It, he could go into Typhlosion again. He could go into Typhlosion again. The last time he went into Typhlosion, I did something. I switched into something. Oh, I switched into the Electros. He might go into Typhlosion here. If he does that, no, Toxapex. Okay, we're still doing about half. We're still doing about half. Yes, okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, Whimsicott would be the obvious switch right now. Whimsicott would be the, the most obvious switch, so I think I click Psychic here. I don't think it's even a question. I think I have to click Psychic here. I've shown up my entire Shaman moveset. If we win this one, Shaman is absolutely the MVP, but right now, let's. how much would I expect to be doing to a Whimsicott? With Psychic. Psychic to Whimsicott should be doing about... Well, no, because it, I believe we already know that it's max HP, at least. So, it's still doing about 40-ish percent, which is fantastic. Psychic hits everything on his team except for the... Um, except for the... What's that thing called? Scrafty, which I can Dazzling Gleam. And my Shaman has not taken a hit this entire match. It, it's holding the Psychinium Z and has not taken a hit this entire match. Even if he goes into the Zapdos, the Zapdos I'm fine with because I can eat that HP Ice and I can hit it back with something. Again, risking the speed tie. We could win the speed tie, you never know. Show me Whimsicott, baby. There you go. We're doing a clean 40 to this thing, probably. It's at 55% right now. So... Oh, was that a crit? That was not a crit. He could go for the Memento right now. I could see the Z Memento going right now. Okay, hold on, hold on. Am I ready to make, like, an actual, like, big ball play? If I expect the Z Memento, right? I could go into the Muck, because it's Dark type, and it would be unaffected by the Prankster move. I think that's the play that I make. I don't see what else you do. You're, I mean, I'm gonna eat any hit you come at me with, and I don't know what, you go... Even Earth Power, Earth Power takes you out, so... Maybe I should just go for the C for Earth Power. Oh man, but Earth Power would give... Would give... Scizor the freest Swords Dance in existence. Although maybe I don't care because of my muck? You know what? You know what? We're doing it. Show me that Z Memento, baby. Show me the Z Memento. There we are. There it is. Alright. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it now. Now, he could do what he did last time and go into the Scizor. I think I have the free curse, and then I can fire punch next turn. Goes for the Moon Blast. Okay, I'm gonna click curse. This is unfortunate, to be fair. This is pretty unfortunate. I'm gonna just click Fire Punch. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to reveal Fire Punch. Actually, no. Actually, no. Hold on. No. No, I because I think... I could click Recycle, too. Recycle would be a nuts play. He attacks, I eat the berry, then go for Recycle, right? That's not the see. Um... That would leave me at a little bit higher health. That would leave me at a little bit higher health. Well, no, actually, it leaves me at slightly lower health, but I would still have my berry. And now, you know what? I just click Gunk Shot here. I'm clicking Gunk Shot. Goes into the Scizor. Toxapex. Even, in, even more interesting. Even more interesting. Oh, that's respectable damage. That's a crit. Okay, fair enough. 
I might try to get another curse up here. He's gonna go for Toxic Spikes, I imagine. I don't see where, why you wouldn't go for Toxic Spikes here. Haze. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I, I, I genuinely didn't think of that play. Of course he has Haze. Okay, so Toxic Spikes, Haze, Scald, and Recover. So literally can't touch my Feeny. Well, my Feeny can't touch it either. I should have thought that out better. Okay, fair enough. Although, yeah, I, I don't mind gunk shotting in, into this thing for as long as I have to. It could, it could just scald me and fish for the burn. That would be not great, like at all. We're 26 turns into this bitch. Okay, I think no matter what, if I continue to gunk shot into this thing, it's going to bait out the scissor eventually, unless he just stays in for the scald burns. No scald burns yet. We'll get the gunk shot off. And I think at that level of HP and knowing that I'm going for gunk shot, I think I'm gonna bait in the scissor eventually. I think I think I think if anything I bait in the scissor right now. To be completely honest. I think he goes for scissor right now. No, just goes for haze. Interesting, interesting. So, gave me a free turn. I I would be amazed if he doesn't go for Scizor now. His talk specs is getting low. He needs that regenerator. He needs the regenerator. I would be amazed if he doesn't go into Scizor right now. Nope, okay. He could just make me run out of gunk shots. Goes for the recover. Okay, fair enough. I could... I could go into... Did he set up spikes? No, he didn't set up any toxic spikes at all. No, okay. Hmm... See, the crazy thing is that I think my Zygarde is more valuable than my Low Punny. I think I hard switch into Low Punny. I think I just hard switch into Low Punny. Goes for the Toxic Spikes. Okay, gives me a, somewhat of a free turn. But if nothing else, the Fake Out's going to do a very decent chunk of damage. And it's not impossible that this thing goes to timer as well. Let's see. I actually, I think I'll just go straight for the return. I think I'll just go straight for the return. Well, no, I would go straight for the high jump kick because of the scissor play. I'm clicking high jump kick. He stays in, so mistakes have been made. I think I fucked up. We missed the high jump kick. Goes for the Scald. Okay. And now we get to see if I did my happiness correctly on my low pony if this thing is max defense then i should be doing about 40 ish percent to the soxapex we should be doing about 40 percent to the soxapex with max defense max hp man that that play could have okay i don't think that's going to lose me the game Although, it does give my low punny to his scissor if he wants to bullet punch me. And if this match does go to timer, then... If this match does go to timer, then... It's going to put me in a terrible spot, because at that point, I just have to... Okay! Okay, I did... I did happiness at least somewhat correctly. Don't burn me. No burn, okay. 
I think I just take this damage. Although, on what planet would you not switch into Scizor right now? I'm gonna click high jump kick. He stays in. That blows my mind. Okay. I'm gonna try and absorb the toxic spikes with my muck and then double into... And then double into my... Zygarde. Although that could be a really bad play because... That would allow my Zygarde to... That would allow my Zygarde to get... Scald burn, so I might have to just, yeah, I might have to just go into my, my Shaman right now. Goes for the recover. That's fine. So I did have the free switch into my Zygarde, which is unfortunate, but. Now he might exp I'm gonna I'm gonna click psychic. He might expect the earth power and go into the into the Zapdos this time, but the Zapdos would drop right now. This is such a long battle. I don't want this to go to timer. Please don't go to timer. I know I can win this, and I know his team is weak enough for me to win this. I know his team is weak enough for my Zygarde to win this, as long as his Tox effects can go down. I just need... Mm, I'm so close. I'm so, so close. With my Shaman in, he might... He might be able to prolong this... Actually, no, I should have just gone for Seed Flare. Seed Flare is the play over Psychic. Which draws the Toxapex. Goes into the Scizor. It does an okay amount. I have to make plays a little bit faster now. I have to click uh, Earth Power. And I and also have to not let him Sword Dance up for free as well. I go for the Earth Power. Probably goes for Sword Dance now. Unless he has the Roost. If he has the Roost... This match might be over. This, this match is going to go to timer. I can't break through this team. Scizor goes for curse. That's wild. Okay, he might not be willing... He might want to stay in here. And I do get the Fire Punch off. It does a decent amount, but Curse is going to continue to drop his speed. But what I'm what what I'm most afraid of is doing is inviting in the Toxapex. I have to kick, keep clicking Fire Punch. I think no matter what, it goes for the Bullet Punch. I think we we have to take this. We don't. It's a crit. We don't take it. Okay. I honestly don't know if that crit mattered. But you know what? It's fine for now because. Because my Finny should be able to handle this for now. 
But I have to know. Let's see. Alolan Muck against Scizor. I'm clicking Scald straight away. Two fifty two into attack with bullet punch. Yeah, that should not have done that. Oh, I didn't give him plus two. Okay, yeah, I know. At plus two, it takes me out. That's fine. Okay. If he actually switches into Toxapex right now, then... If he actually switches into Toxapex right now... Would he just give up his boost? Because if he gives, if he gives up his boosts, then that might... Cost in the match. I do just go for the surf. Please tell me this takes him out. Goes for the roost. I don't win this game. I don't win this game. Both of my Pokemon with fire coverage are down now. My only chance is to call mind up. I can't believe how this match went. I just click surf. But it's not going to do anything. I think of anything. Well, uh, the next the next bullet punch is going to come down to a roll. But he can roost all me at this point. And plus 2 bullet punch should take out my Zygarde easy. He's way out of range of my extreme speed. <sighs> That's going to be it for the match. The only way, right, would be if I, would be if I, with Surf, I'm able to take this thing low enough where Shaman Earth Power takes this thing out, where I take a Bullet Punch, hit him with Shaman Earth Power, he withdraws, goes into the Whimsicott, this thing drops to a Surf at plus one, I think. But he's trying to get in his Tox Effects for free. He's trying to get in his Tox Effects for free, but... My Feeny's at plus one. Oh, is this how he tries to bring this to timer? By bringing in the Feeny? Or by bringing in the, uh, Toxapex? Moonblast is doing- is only doing 18%. Even at plus one. But... If I go into Zygarde, if I go into Zygarde, then I have to do a little bit of switching back and forth, but that's my only chance for Zygarde to literally like get all these KOs in 15 minutes. I, I, I don't think I can avoid this going to timer, and I'm already down way too much. Is he going to try to roost up on me right now? Is he really about to try to roost up on me? Goes for the Thunderbolt. I'm a plus one. I have a chance to take this. I do take it. Goes down to the Moonblast. And now it's looking like we have a chance. I don't understand why he switched out that Scizor. I don't understand why he switched out that Scizor. Shaman and Zygarde might win this match for me right now. And the thing is, it, it might also just still go to timer, too. And this might be the final turn of Missy Terrain. If it is, then I have to 
goes into Typhlosion. No, then I don't have to care. Because I go for Surf. If he goes for, like, Sunny Day or something, I don't know. If he does anything too, too crazy, then it gives me the free switch into Zygarde. Maybe he's trying to predict me doubling into Zygarde, but I really have no reason to. Goes for the Eruption, that's totally fine. I get the free Thousand Arrows off. Well, no, this, well, this thing's possibly Scarf, but it doesn't matter. Actually, my play might be to Extreme Speed. Yeah, my play has to be to Extreme Speed. Zygarde 10%. Against. Yeah, I have to click Extreme Speed right now. Against Typhlosion. And I have to type in my moves really quickly, too. I think this thing is Scarfed into Eruption. And. Assuming that this. He withdraws. He goes straight into the Scrafty. Interesting. This should still be a two hit KO. There should still be a 2-hit KO. I have to guess. Yeah. <sighs> I might have to go into Shaman here. I have to go into Shaman here because the, the double switch into Scizor is too scary. Yes, did we call that correctly? Double switch into Scizor? Yes, okay. He doesn't have anything on the ground, so Earth Power is completely, completely free. Earth Power is completely free. There are 10 minutes left in this match. I really don't want this to go to timer. But, it might have to go to timer. And if it does go to timer, then it doesn't... It won't go well for me. Let's me go for the Earth Power. Does he go for the U-Turn? That's a two-hit. That's a crit. Goes for the U-Turn. I feel like I take one. Let me take one. Yeah, that's it. Now, I don't think it matters, because... I can Thousand Arrows everything. No. Do I take a full power eruption? I do. I think I already went through this. Eruption, max special attack. I have to I have to make the switch. If he goes for HP Ice, he wins. He's a god. I don't know what, to, what else to say. Eruption. We should take this. We do. Okay. Now I have to make the big boy play and go for Thousand Arrows. I have to make the big boy play and go for Thousand Arrows. Withdraws. Goes into Scrafty. This is the final switch in for Scrafty. So no more Intimidates. How much is Extreme Speed doing to... Scizor? See, the thing is, I don't... If, if only Shaman could take one bullet punch, then I think I win. Actually, no, because the Typhlosion is probably Scarfed. Extreme Speed does 15 to set... Uh, and it's max HP, too. It's going to be doing less. 12 to 15%, so nowhere near in range for Thousand Arrows. And I'm almost definitely in range...
Why is this thing in here? Why is this thing in here? To set up Toxic Spice to for my Zygarde? I'm gonna click Thousand Arrows. I'm so far behind that I have to do something. Click Scald. We take it, no burn. Fuck! That's gonna be the match. That's going to be it for the match. He might pull a double, but even then it's not likely. And I don't take a hit. I was in such commanding position too. Goes for the Scald. I was in such commanding position. Actually, we might take a bullet punch. Realistically, Typhlosion wins, so I'm, I'm gonna play for differential at best. I'm playing for differential at best. It doesn't really matter at this point. I can't believe this match. It was into the Typhlosion. What? Why? Why? I don't think it matters. I would have to switch in Typhlosion. Or no, I would have to switch in Zygarde. But I can't switch in Zygarde. Man, there's no way that I win this. Unless he chokes again, but even that's unlikely. Goes for the Fire Blast. He scarfed out Seed My Shaman, and my Zygarde can no longer take it out with Thousand Arrows. Er it can with Thousand Arrows, but not with... Uh Unless the thing is Specs. This thing could be Specs for all I know. Well, no, it can't be, because I already tested out Specs damage with uh, the Eruption that I took earlier. But I go for Extreme Seed, maybe I crit, maybe I bring it down to a 2-0, but man. What an awful way to lose. What an awful way to lose. There's the Extreme Speed. I know crit, there's the Fire Blast, there's the 3-0 loss. And there's our season going down to a 3-3, man. This one really, really hurts. Still not able to pick up a win against Chabri. I thought I was really playing well for the first half of that game. But that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back again really, really soon with more PG with more weeks of the PGBL, and tomorrow we will have the finals of the PGLNU Cup. It's going to be so, so much fun. Unfortunately, I don't yet know who my opponent will be, but regardless, I know it's going to be either the Blazing Squid or Trexus, and either way, it's going to be a phenomenal match. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and everyone, once again, out.